Welcome to the Sankofa Pan-African series. We travel through history's corridors, illuminating Afrocentric narratives. Support us through Patreon or by buying me coffee. Your subscription is a great start, but do hit the bell for notifications so you know when we have new episodes. Share our videos and visit our website sankofastorybooks.com for stories, biographies, Afrocentric nursery rhymes and other resources for children. Together can change the negative narratives about us. Racism, both overt and subtle, can significantly impact a teenager's mental health, self-esteem, and overall development. Teens of color often face racial discrimination in various settings, including schools, neighborhoods, and social circles. This discrimination can manifest in different forms, such as racial slurs, exclusion, and biased disciplinary actions. The psychological toll of experiencing racism can lead to increased stress, anxiety, and depression among teenagers. They may feel marginalized, powerless, and disconnected from their peers and institutions meant to support them. These negative experiences can hinder their academic performance, social interactions, and overall well-being. Adolescence is a critical time for identity formation. Teens are exploring who they are, what they believe, and where they fit within society. For teenagers of color, this process is often complicated by the need to navigate a racialized world. They must reconcile their self-identity with societal perceptions and stereotypes associated with their race. This process of identity formation can be challenging as teens of color may struggle to find positive representations of themselves in media, history, and everyday life. The lack of representation and role models can lead to internalized racism, where teens adopt negative beliefs about their own race. Conversely, some teens may embrace their racial identity as a source of pride and strength, actively resisting negative stereotypes and advocating for social justice. White privilege refers to the unearned advantages and benefits that white people receive in a racially stratified society. These privileges can be invisible to those who possess them as they are often normalized and taken for granted. For white teenagers, understanding white privilege is crucial in recognizing how race and racism operate within society. White privilege can affect identity formation by providing white teens with a sense of entitlement and normalcy that is not afforded to their peers of color. They may grow up unaware of the systemic inequalities that exist or the ways in which their lives are made easier by their race. This lack of awareness can perpetuate ignorance and insensitivity towards issues of race and racism. Parents of color play a critical role in preparing their children to navigate a world where they may face racial discrimination and prejudice from an early age. Here are some strategies. Open conversations. Engage in honest discussions about race and racism. Explain historical context and current events to help teens understand the systemic nature of racism. Racial profiling awareness. Teach boys, in particular, about the realities of racial profiling and how to safely interact with law enforcement. This might include practical advice on how to behave during a traffic stop or what to do if they feel threatened. Positive role models. Introduce teens to successful individuals from their racial background who have overcome adversity. This can inspire confidence and a sense of possibility. Cultural pride. 
encourage participation in cultural events and traditions that reinforce a positive sense of identity and heritage. Why parents also have a responsibility to educate their children about race and the privilege they hold. This can be approached in the following ways. Early education. Introduce concepts of diversity, fairness, and inclusion from a young age. Use age-appropriate books, media, and discussions to teach about different cultures and the history of racism. Acknowledge privilege. Help teens understand what white privilege is and how it affects their lives. Discuss how they can use their privilege to advocate for equality and support marginalized communities. Challenge stereotypes. Encourage critical thinking about stereotypes and biases. Discuss how these can be harmful and how to recognize and combat them. Model behavior. Demonstrate inclusive behavior and allyship in your own actions. Teens learn a lot by observing their parents' attitudes and interactions. For both white and non-white parents, engaging in meaningful conversations about race and privilege is crucial. Here's how to do it. Create a safe space. Ensure that the conversation is open and judgment-free. Let teens express their thoughts and feelings without fear of reprisal. Use real-life examples. Discuss current events and personal experiences related to race and privilege. This makes the discussion more relevant and impactful. Encourage questions. Allow teens to ask questions and be curious. Answer honestly and provide resources for further learning. Empathy and allyship. Teach teens to empathize with others' experiences. Discuss the importance of standing up against racism and being an ally to those who face discrimination. Encourage them to speak out against injustices they witness in their schools or communities. Education. All schools should incorporate comprehensive curricula that explore the history and impact of racism, the concept of white privilege, and the importance of diversity. Unfortunately, most schools do not. As a parent who cares about helping your child navigate race and racism, you should work with other like-minded parents to strategize on how to ensure that your child's school incorporates how race and racism impact children. Encouraging open discussions about race can only help students understand different perspectives and experiences. Fostering empathy and allyship in teenagers can empower them to support their peers and advocate for social justice. Here are some ways to encourage these qualities. Volunteer together. Engage in community service that supports marginalized groups. This hands-on experience can build empathy and understanding. Supportive networks. Encourage teens to join clubs or organizations that promote diversity and inclusion. This can provide a supportive network and opportunities for advocacy. Storytelling. Share stories of people who have made a difference in the fight against racism. Highlight how one person's actions can inspire change, dialogue, and reflection. Regularly discuss issues of race and privilege at home. Reflect on what has been learned and how it can be applied in daily life. Race and racism significantly impact the lives of teenagers, shaping their identities and experiences. By understanding the effects of racism and white privilege and fostering environments of education and awareness, we can support teenagers in developing a healthy, inclusive sense of self. Through collective efforts, we can create a society where all teens are empowered to thrive, free from the burdens of racial inequality. 
parents, educators, and communities all play a vital role in this journey, ensuring that the next generation is well equipped to challenge systemic inequalities and advocate for social justice.